very good. And you have a big desire for the future. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to share something about that? I want to be a professional hypnotherapist. Very good. Mm -hmm. Aren't you already? Oh, well, yes. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> so you're done. Thank you very much. Give him a hand. No. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a professional hypnotherapist just yet. I'm a master hypnotist. Very good. Very good. So you have a big desire for... Um, so, so tell me a little bit more. What do you mean with uh, professional hypnotherapist? Because um, what makes you think you aren't yet? Or did I make you aware to the extent actually I am a professional hypnotherapist? Yeah, watching you. Um, I just mean like I would, I, I really want to do it as my life's work and I want to be paid for it. Okay, so. It's something that I, I've always wanted so to So it's the paying is missing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Otherwise I need to go do something else that I, I feel no interest in. Yeah. Okay, good. So what would you like to have happened? Well, <clears throat> It's not that, it's something else, mm. yeah. Did you notice your breathing stopped? <laughs> no. no. When I said, what would you like to have happened? It's like, uh, did you realize that? No. Oh, okay. And yet it stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. Is there something scary? Something you want to avoid? I, I'm sure there is. But not that you're aware of? No. Yeah. No, right? There it is in a nutshell. Yes. Mm -hmm. How would you, so what's that? I, I honestly don't know. But yet there is something? Yes. How do you know that yet there is something that you don't know? All of your language in the last thing, uh, or our last exercise about the um, something holding me back, um, there's a part of me that's, there's a part of me that would kill me, you know what I mean? Uh, what do you mean? Very destructive. I have a very, uh, I have a very destructive dark side that's slowly, there's little pieces of it still there, mm -hmm. you know? Like uh, I, the way I phrased it back in the old days was, um, I was taking chances and my friends when I was that. It was like a committing suicide almost. I really didn't care about myself enough to like stay out of really dangerous situations that I was putting myself into. So, mm. um, yeah. Are you things. glad that that time has passed? Yeah. yeah. I'm really glad. So what have you learned from that? that's going to help you to be a professional master hypnotist? Um, I guess mostly what I'm taking away from this is this feeling of how enjoyable it is to help other people and kind of get out of my own thing. Yeah. So, would you like to get out of your own thing completely? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening now? It's an exciting thought. Yeah. How does it look? It looks How would you know that you've completely out of it and you left all of those dark things behind you? Well, practically, when I quit self-sabotaging behaviors, you know, certain things that are... So your test is when you stop self-sabotaging? You, you're there. I'm then you're still focused on it, huh? I guess so. Yeah. I mean in the sense that if the test has to do with something not happening, you have to look for it all the time mm -hmm. to see if it's not there. That's kind of silly. Well, before you make conclusions, mm -hmm. do you see what's happening? Yeah. yeah. So aside from silly, what else could it be where you can learn from to break through now? Before you find the answer, I had a client and uh, he had a fear of driving on the highway and specifically when you are entering the highway and then you have to look in the mirror to join the fast speed cars, right? So he avoided that always. So he basically that was his fear. So we do a session, and um, after after the session, I think the session took about an hour or something. And then we went immediately in the car to test out if the fear is gone. And so 
we, I'm sitting next to him and he's driving. So we are going on the highway and he's saying, my fear is gone, my fear is gone. <laughs> and, I said, I, and I told him, do you want it back? <laughs> and he said, no, no, no. I said, then stop looking for it. And, he, and something clicked inside of him. Something became really clear to him that changed his life. Because at that moment, he realized he was actually looking for the fear in his car. You see, you can, can you imagine that? Before he went on the highway with the other cars, fast speed. So then he went on the highway. It went pretty well. And then later, we went back to his house to, to debrief it. And then he said, yeah, actually, that was quite interesting to realize that he was looking for his fear. Um, do you know what I mean? Very good. So why don't you sit comfortably? I, do you want to go into a trance? Very good, very good. So you can place your hands on your on your lap like you do, yeah, like you do, right? Take a deep breath. Breathe out all tension and stress. Very good. Very good. I want you to close your eyes now and go inside into a deep, deep trance that feels wonderful. And allow my voice to guide you deeper inside to the exclusion of any other sound, which means all the sounds around you and inside you help you to go deeper inside. And your unconscious mind will protect you and is looking after you now, which means you can trust and feel safe on the chair. And you are alive now, which means you can breathe and go deeper. That's right. And you can enjoy being alive and breathe in the same time as you hear my voice. Something is clicking inside. Something is changing on the unconscious level. And while you consider how deep you can go and enjoy in the same time, I want you to fully consider the weight of your left hand resting comfortably on your leg. I want you to realize the weight of your right hand touching your leg. I want you to consider all the inflections in my voice. I want you to consider all the words I'm saying to you. And you can follow all the suggestions unconsciously as if you're going to sleep, which means you don't have to know consciously about going into a trance that's wonderful. Because a big change happened with the guy in the car. He realized that he was looking for something that in fact wasn't really there. But it was in the past now so real for him that he thought he needed therapy. And in the car he realized that he was alive all the time. In fact, he was alive so much that he's really started to enjoy the future in such a way that he could move to the left with his car. And he found out, looking back to the past, how much he have learned. He learned how to look into the mirrors with an instructor in the car. He looked how to, through the window, to see the cars and to navigate and he learned that his unconscious mind was basically driving the car. And he fully considered the power of his unconscious mind. Because he realized that he was driving a car sometimes late at night. He could see the stars. He could see the stars at night through the window of the car. And for a certain reason that was quite mysterious to him, he felt a connection late at night between the stars and him. And he found out that actually his unconscious mind is really driving the car. He only needed to stay focused on the road because he didn't really know where he was going to, but something inside him knew. It was as if he could see the North Star high up in the sky shining light over parts of the path into the future. And I want you to go deeper, Andy, in this trance, only to the extent you can completely let go, as if it's time to sleep, as if you need to go to sleep, and you really am looking forward to sleep. 
because you have had nights and days where you were so tired, so dreamy, so sleepy that the only thing you wanted was to close your eyes and to disappear deep inside to the extent you allowed yourself to dream. I had a friend who was walking up the stairs. He wanted to go all the way up. He went to the first floor, that's right, and he could see the numbers increase. On the first floor he could see the number one. And the higher he went up, he could see the numbers increase, two. And the more he went up, the faster it go. It went because he saw number three, number four, and number five. And he wanted to go all the way up into the building to see the beautiful view from the top. Some people can experience in a trance tingling sensations in one of their hands. Some people can experience in a trance one of the hands is getting lighter. Other people can experience in a trance. That's right, they, they go so deep inside that one part of them is taking over now, all by itself, automatically and comfortably. And people can experience in a trance that tingling sensations in one of the fingertops are getting lighter and they begin to spread. That's right. And some people can experience in a trance uplifting ideas that feel wonderful. Other people experience in a trance tingling sensations in one of their hands increasing now. And they spread not only through every fingertip they have, but it's spreading out through the hand and further and further. And while it spreads further and further, that hands get lighter and lighter and lighter. That's right. And the elbow pressing down now, arm is getting lighter and lighter as they go deeper inside. That's right, lifting lifting and lifting. Some people experience in a trance, they go so deep inside that their breathing changes because they start to dream. And in that dream they can see a balloon going all the way up in the sky, more and more up. And they can see, that's right, beautiful colors, balloons going higher and higher up which means that left hand is getting lighter now and it's going all the way up all by itself while one part of you, that's right, can hear the suggestion that I say another part of you is ha making it happen elbow pressing down, hands getting lighter and lighter and the lighter and more up it goes the better you feel inside maybe you feel a tingling sensation spreading into your upper arm and it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter now all by itself I had a friend who was sitting in the park and he was wondering about an airplane high up in the sky and he could see it going more and more up it was taking off and he could see it and he was totally fascinated and it's getting more and more up now it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter. That's right, that left hand is getting lighter and lighter, while your right arm is getting more and more heavy. That's right, your right arm is getting more and more heavy, and your left arm is getting lighter and lighter. It wants to lift, because some things Andy, need to lift inside, deep inside, where, where you sleep and dream now. You can enjoy the sounds around you, far away, helping you making changes. Changes that will only stay with you for the rest of your life. And I had a friend who inside his mind shifted because he had an old idea about himself that completely disappeared. Like a car, that's right, lighter and lighter now uplifting, lifting, lifting. And while he could see an old idea disappear all the way in the past, flying away, 
new ideas that are uplifting can get brighter and stronger. And I don't know which is the most euphoric experience you have experienced. And all the experiences where you had joy to the extent that's orgasmic, that's life activating inside you now. And you have had experience where you were looking forward to new things. And in a moment I'm going to tap your knee and a wonderful experience will arise. It's going to be you in the future. And in that moment everything is exactly like it needs to be from your heart's desire, from your professional hypnotherapist and more. In the meantime, that uplifting ID will help you to get lighter and lighter now. Very good. And that's an uplifting idea. And your unconscious mind can lift up that light, that left hand, to the extent that things get clear inside you. Things that need to be clear can get clear now. And while one part of you is going even deeper in this trance, another part is lifting that hand all the way up. And I wonder where your left hand will touch your body first. Maybe your left hand will touch your chest. Maybe your left hand will touch your face. And maybe your left hand will go somewhere completely different. And your unconscious mind can decide, that's right. And the more it goes towards your body now, the better you feel that sensation of peace a deep sensation of peace, more peace, more confidence. The closer it gets to your body, the more peace you feel. The closer it gets to the body, the more confidence you feel. That's right. And I wonder where it's going to touch you. Some people in a trance experience their arm levitating all by itself. And when it touches, their body, they get an explosion of a wonderful feeling. It's like a universal explosion and something inside you knows. Because I want you to get in touch while one part of you is going to continue automatically and all by itself, that left hand touching your body, another part of you can start to contact that desire inside of you. The desire to be that professional paid hypnotherapist that is wonderful, full of talents. That part inside you is going to get brighter and brighter. While that other part is making your left arm touch your body, the other part, which is the desire, you're going to make contact with in this trance. I wonder where the desire comes from. Some people have desires of making something beautiful, a piece of art. Other people have desires to play an instrument to the best they can. But you have a desire of being a professional hypnotherapist and to be paid. And it's safe and okay to fully accept and embrace that now. That's right, almost touching now. And while it comes closer and closer, I wonder how good you feel that's right, very good. Feel that great feeling, yeah, that's right. And let it spread only as quickly as you go deeper inside this trance. Which means that my voice is inside your mind only to the extent that's safe, comfortable and natural for you to accept all the positive suggestions. Not because I say so, but because you want to be a paid professional hypnotherapist. You have the ability to focus your mind on anything you set your mind to. You have the ability to reach goals. You have been hungry and you went straight to the bakery to buy that bread. You enjoy that. That's right. More peace is inside you. And I wonder if your left hand gets stuck to your body. Maybe it will fall down back to your leg. Maybe your left hand will go slowly all by itself back to your leg. Maybe your left hand will do something completely different. You can find out unconsciously what it decides. 
which means you can contact that sense of more peace. That's right. In a moment, Andy, I want to keep your body deep asleep. Your body stays deep, sound asleep, and you can awake from the neck up only. You can experience to have an awakened mind in a body that's sound asleep. So in a moment, you can wake up from the neck up and you're going to have a great experience to experience a body that's deep in trance and a mind that's awake. So you can open your eyes now and have a mind that's awake, hi, while your body remains deep asleep, sound asleep, deep in hypnosis. That's right. So take a look to your left hand. How is that? That's pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> yeah, very good. And your right arm is so heavy. Very heavy. In fact, it is so heavy that even the idea to lift it up is very tiring. Right. So, take a look to your hands and notice how calm they are. I wonder what your right arm can teach your mind about relaxation. Yeah. A lot. A lot, right? Feels like it's dead. It feels like it's dead. And yet it's alive. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it can teach you about relaxation. Pardon? It seems easy. It seems easy. Mm -hmm. Is it easy for the arm to relax? Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's never been so relaxed. It has never been so relaxed. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it means. Are you in a trance now? You are in a trance? Your body is in a trance? Yeah. Your mind is in a trance? Like it. Feels like it. What's happening on the left? It's kind of weird. It's kind of it weird, like right? Your hands in a strange spot. Your hands in a strange spot. Mm -hmm. What's happening with your left arm? Do you always have your left arm to touch your body like that? Not very often. Not very often. Very good. Mm -hmm. So choose one spot on your right arm. That's right. Choose a detail. That's right. And notice, the more you focus on that spot, the more relaxation from your body is entering your mind. That's right. And before you notice, your mind will go way down deep sound to sleep again. Maybe it's going to happen soon. Maybe it's going to happen in between the suggestions I give. Maybe it's going to happen when you forget to think about old things. Maybe it will happen when you start, that's right, all the way down, deep asleep, all the way down, really relaxed, deep inside. Because you have been learning from your right arm lessons. That's right. You've been learning lessons from your left arm. That's right. And you have been learning something you're not aware of yet. I want you to go inside, into the memory lane. Because long time ago you were a little boy. And one time you had such a wonderful experience, you might have forgotten. And you don't have to know consciously about all the wonderful experiences where you knew magic is real where you were looking up to the sky and you felt a strong connection between you and nature. Maybe you have been seeing an animal on the TV or in nature. Maybe you have been playing with something like water or stones. That's right, that's the memory. Very good. I wonder what this memory can teach you, Andy, about life. 
And you don't have to know consciously what this memory can teach you about life. Maybe it wants to teach you something else about being a master hypnotist. Maybe this memory wants to teach you about being you. Maybe this memory wants to teach you about feel peace inside you. Maybe this memory will teach you to go even deeper. Very good. Very good. And all the time your left hand is stuck to your body and you have a memory that's teaching you and a right arm that's resting comfortably and your breathing is changing your skin color is changing and you're deep asleep dreaming and enjoying being you in a new way now you can relax and feel peace which means that you're shifting into the future already being the Andy in the future like I told you a couple of suggestions ago and while clock time is ticking on the unconscious mind there is no time which means it's all happening now the future I mean so see yourself in the future and let that memory of the past inspire you for the future now very good that's it and while you sleep and dream tonight your unconscious mind will find and discover even more special memories you have inside you that you might have forgotten on a conscious level however your unconscious mind has got everything inside you you need to achieve anything you want in fact when you have the desire it means the road outside you is already being paved. That's right. You just have to find out and discover by taking the first step. That's right. And you know as a master hypnotist, Andy, that people learn from roadblocks. Really learn. That's right. So let that memory of the past inspire you for the future in a way that's beyond your conscious awareness. So in the back of your mind, only good memories will inspire your conscious mind in your daily life from now on. And your unconscious mind can make a beautiful painting, a collection of your best memories in the back of your mind. One part of you can start right now collecting great memories and your conscious mind doesn't need to know and find out about it just like you don't need to find out how you digest your food how you keep on breathing how you need to move the muscles when you stand up how you read unconsciously just like that that part can collect great memories colorful memories shiny pictures big shiny pictures solid pictures beautiful pictures three-dimensional shiny pictures filling up the space inside your mind like you look into the biggest sky and that part will only choose great memories and your conscious mind doesn't need to find out because that part inside you will only tell your conscious mind how to take the steps towards that desire. Isn't that something amazing of your unconscious mind? Very good. And in the meantime, your left arm is touching your body. Your right arm is resting comfortably. And you're going deeper and deeper asleep. And you have been dreaming beautiful dreams. You can dream now. That's right dream on the wings of time now on the highways of trance while you grow and change 
you've been learning many important things. Many important things. Very good. In a moment, I'm going to count you back out of this 